What's up, my guys? And welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Cody. And are y'all watching this right now? Kevin Owens is just plowing through some Snickers bars right now. I tell you what. Hell yeah, brother. If anybody deserves it, it's you after that banger of a main event they put on with the Usos. More into that later, though. Hey, like I said, welcome back. This is home of the probably most awful YouTube videos you will ever see in your life. It's the Wrestling Report Card. Now, what we do on the show is I take a wrestling show. I break down every match. I give them a letter grade. And at the end, I tell them some bitches up. To get that show his own report card. And the wait is finally over because tonight is night one of WrestleMania 39. And with this being the first mania under the creative of Triple H, the stars were out tonight in LA, my guy. I tell you what, you had Pat McAfee, Snoop Dogg, Bad Bunny, Green Shirt Guy, and many, many more in the house. So let's get to it. In the main event, like I said, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, step up to the plate to try to dethrone the Usos for those undisputed tag team championships. Now for the Women's Smackdown title, Charlotte Flair. Defense against Rhea Ripley in an absolute banger. Rey Mysterio finally gets his hands on that sack of shit of an excuse he calls his son, Dominic, as they get it on. And you had Seth Paulins. Seth Paulins. <laughs> Seth Rollins and Logan Paul in a sensational match. And in the opener, just like in 2004, John Cena opens the show as he takes on the United States champion, Austin theory so as you can tell we got a lot to talk about and i can't even talk so go on and buckle up your seat belts hell buckle them some bitches up twice and let's get to grading my guy let's go ahead and dive on in it first up you got the united states champion austin theory putting the gold on the line as he's taking on sound the trumpets john cena and i tell you what before i could even crack open my first curse lie theory is out there biting cena in the ear talking about you can't see me now nah. More like you can't hear me, my guy. Anyways, if that wasn't enough, when Cena put Theory's ass in the STFU, yeah, that was the original meaning of that little acronym, you youngins. That son bitch bit Cena's hand to get out of it, but even with all that bite, he couldn't get him out of the five knuckle shuffle. So, Cena went for the FU, but the ref got knocked out during all that. Without knowing, Cena put Theory in the STFU again and had his little ass tap in, but there was no ref. Now, right as Cena realized and got distracted with all that, that little sack of shit, Austin Theory, hit him with a low blow. However, by the time the ref came through, all he saw was Theory hitting Cena with the ATD, and I hate to say it, but ain't nobody kicking out of that, my guy. Theory gets the one, two, Three. And yeah, this was your typical legend return match in the WWE, but hey, I was entertained, it was short, it was sweet, and like it or not, it ended up putting Theory over at the end of the day, so I'm gonna slap a B- minus on that son bitch, and then we're gonna move over to the tag team division, cause up next, in the Fatal 4-Way Showcase Tag Team Match, you got Braun Strowman and Ricochet going up against the Street Profits, the Viking Raiders, and the Alpha Academy. And I tell you what, this son bitch right here was definitely the dark horse match of the night. I mean, we saw Jad Gable hit a rolling German suplex on the Braun Strowman. Ricochet then speared Tez, who was upside down on top of like a human wrestling tower. And Braun Strowman's big ass hit a splash off the ropes. Ricochet was flying all over the place, but he went for one too many shooting stars. On the last one, Angelo Dawkins caught him and held him while Tez came crashing down with a frog splash of his own, which allowed Doc to roll his ass over, get the one, two, three, and hopefully this means we're going to get a legit push for the Street Profits moving forward because, hey, if anybody deserves it, it's them, my guy. I'm going to slap an A- on that son bitch, but we going to keep it pushing because next up, we got Logan Paul going up against Seth Rollins after all the trash talk, all the hype, all the talk shows. It's time for these two to throw down, and that's exactly what they did. After being knocked out with it multiple times, Seth Rollins did a great job early on taking away that right hand from Logan Paul. However, he was still able to connect, and for the third time, Logan Paul has turned Seth Rollins' lights out. But the delay in him making the cover allowed Rollins to kick out at 2.99, and then Rollins loaded up for the stomp. The prime bottle mascot that accompanied Paul down to the ringside pulled him out of the way. Was it a great distraction? Turns out it was Logan Paul's buddy KSI. Next thing you know, Paul had Rollins sprawled out onto the announce table. He climbed the ropes to go hit that infamous splash, but he didn't see that at the last possible second, Rollins moved out of the way and pulled KSI into his place, and we saw Logan Paul come crashing down on his own buddy. Rollins capitalized quickly and rolled Paul back in the ring. He hit that son bitch with the pedigree, but 
Paul was able to kick out. Then, Logan Paul did the unthinkable. After already hitting Hangman Page's finisher earlier, Paul loaded Rollins up and hit that son of a bitch with the GTS. I tell you what. However, Paul got a little too cocky. He tried going coast to coast with it, but Seth super kicked that son of a bitch out of midair before hitting him with the stomp. And ain't nobody kicking out of that, my guy. Seth gets the one, two, three. Three and we gotta admit, like we can't even say you can't deny anymore. Logan Paul is putting on bangers, my guy. Happy birthday to you, but oh, 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 oh. y'all know what it is. My guy got the dub, and I'ma slap an A on that son bitch. I tell you what. Well, let's move on over to the women's division to Seth's woman. I'm talking about the man. As you got Becky Lynch teaming up with Lita and Trish Stratus as they're taking on Damage Control. And with the two Hall of Famers in the ring with all this young talent, what's not to love, my guy? We saw EO Sky live up to her name as she hit a beautiful moonsault off the ropes, wiping all the competitors out. They all barely beat the 10 count back in. Then we saw all six ladies hit every finisher known to womankind. But at the end of the day, in the ring, it's Becky Lynch, it's Bailey. Two of the horsewomen are battling it out. They meet up on the ropes when Becky hit an elevated manhandle slam. And ain't nobody kicking out of that, my guy. Becky, Trish Stratus, and Lita pick up the one, two, three. And hell yeah, like I said, that was awesome. But I'm going to be honest. I think that went on just a little bit too long. And why in the Sam hell aren't the women's tag team titles being defended at WrestleMania? I promise, I'm done asking questions. But I think I make a couple good points there. I'm going to slap a C on that son, bitch. Great job, ladies. And let's keep it pushing. Because up next, we got the father of the year, Rey Mysterio, finally able to get his hands on his son that's pushed and pushed and pushed. And we about to watch Rey. That's right, baby. It's Rey Mysterio taking on Dominic Mysterio. And you can't lie, this match had the big match feel. You had Bad Bunny joining the Spanish announce team. You had Rey Mysterio getting driven down to the ring in the Eddie Guerrero whip and nobody but Snoop Dogg was the driver. I tell you what, but I still gotta say it. Prison Dawn might be the greatest character in WWE history, my guy. Go on and argue with your uncle and them. However, my favorite part of this match is when Rey shoved that little punk over in the corner, took off his belt, and then just started tearing that ass up. Just what that little boy needs. However, after this, Dominic started getting pretty disrespectful with it my guy he hit his pops with his 619 he walked over threw a drink in his own little sister's face yelled at his mom's again and then you already know the judgment day was here making their presence known but right after they got involved out ran the lwo 2.0 they came down ran finn and dame off but dame hey my guy thought he was slick he let this jacket up ringside which had that chain in it so dom walked over tried to use it but right when he was about to swing it up pop bad bunny to save the day. Then, after a second 619, Ray climbed up, hit the frog splash, and ain't nobody kicking out of that, my guy. And I won't lie, coming into this, I 100% thought we was going to see Don Mysterio retire his pop. So I got to say, I'm surprised, though I'm not mad at all, that we saw Ray Mysterio pick up the one, two, three. So for that match right there, I mean, look at all the history that comes in that. That dates all the way back to the 2005 SummerSlam custody of Don Mysterio ladder match between Ray Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero. Man, rest in peace right there, my guy. But a great follow-up right there. I'ma slap an A-minus on that son, bitch. Now, after Dom just got whooped, we gotta go see what mommy's doing. We switch over to the women's division as you got the 2023 Women's Royal Rumble winner, Rhea Ripley, stepping up to challenge the SmackDown Women's Champ, Charlotte Flair. And hell, yeah, we got some big, meaty woman ready to slap chick meat, damn it. And I tell you what, these ladies showed up and showed out to night that rip tied into the ddt was one of the coldest transitions that i have seen in a long time Rhea then super flex charlotte all the way to dodger stadium and i tell you what if that wasn't enough she done did it again this time landing her straight on her face the champ however was not only able to kick out of all that but she was able to hit that signature ringside moonsault shout out hangman page but Back in the ring, Rhea loaded Flair up. She hit that son bitch with the riptide. Again, the champ kicked out. Next, it's Charlotte with the massive spear. Rhea kicked out. Holy shit, I mean, this crowd is going nuts at this point. Then, after sending Charlotte into the ring post, Rhea looked up, climbed up there with her, loaded that son bitch up for a second time, and from the second rope, she hit an avalanche riptide, and ain't nobody kicking out of that, my guy. And new SmackDown Women's Champion in 
well-deserved Rhea Bloody Ripley Rob O right there, ladies. I'm a slap an A on that son bitch. I mean, you had no interference, no bullshit, no run-ins, and they went on to put on an absolute banger. That's what I'm talking about. Well, next up, we got The Miz and his tiny balls coming down to the ring, and after he was out here bragging that no one was tough enough to answer his alleged open challenge, much to Corey Graves' delight, Pat McAfee's music hit, what? He came down, what? He had a little match, what? And with the help of George Kittle, my guy opened a can of whoop ass all over the Miz. He landed his new punt and you guessed it, ain't nobody kicking out of that, my guy. He gets the one, two, three in a quick little match and I can't lie, I was entertained plus, y'all already know that's my guy. Shout out Pat, Boston Connor, all the boys up there. I'ma slap a B on that son bitch, but now, y'all know what we getting up to. That's enough of the talk because it's time for the main event. For the first time in WrestleMania history, in the main event, you had the tag team titles on the line as you got the Usos defending against Kevin Owens and Sammy. I want to be in the bloodline till it's time to do bloodline shit. Zayn, and I tell you what, this son bitch here had more frog splashes than an RVD highlight reel, brother. Plus, we saw KO get powerbombed through an announce table. Sammy got hit with the 1D, and that wasn't even the end. After a hellacious beatdown to add insult to injury, Jay hit Sammy with his own haluva kick, but he's been a little bit too much time talking trash. That allowed Sammy to tag a fresh KO back in, then boom, Haluva kick, stunner, KO makes the cover, Jay kicks out, the Usos then start stupid kicking everything moving, and after a double Uso splash, Kevin Owens still kicked out, tagged Sammy back in, then after KO stunned Jimmy, Sammy loaded up not one, not two, but three Haluva kicks, and ain't nobody, ki I can't even say it, y'all, Y'all know the bloodlines, my guys. Yes, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, they're the new tag team champs. Cool, but don't get it twisted. Just because the Usos lost, that don't mean Roman's losing tomorrow, my guy. We still the ones, and Cody Rhodes, he gonna get smashed and sit back, back to AEW, where he's gonna job to MJF next year, my guy. However, if Cody Rhodes somehow manages to cheat and Roman Reigns does lose, don't expect no video tomorrow, my guy, because I ain't gonna do it, okay? I'm gonna be pissed off, and if you see some wild stuff happening in OKC, just mind your business, all right? Well, I guess I need to go back and grade that main event, don't I? I'm going to slap an A-minus on that son, bitch. I'm just talking my trash. That was a great match. Congrats to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And congrats to Kevin Owens getting that Snickers bar afterwards in the press conference. Well, y'all know what time of the show it is. We got all the grades in. Now let's take a look at the report card. After tallying everything up, we came out with a final letter grade of... A B plus, that's right, in 88% for the night one of WrestleMania 39. And I tell you what, that's what I'm talking about. I want to thank OG Bobby Knifehawk for the beat, man. He does this for me every time I got a video. I want to thank all 14 of y'all that are still tuned in. Go ahead, stay tuned all weekend, because tomorrow night, we got night two of WrestleMania. And then Monday, it's Raw after Mania. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. You can like, comment, anything you want to do. I don't care. But I'm your host, Cody. I'm signing off. So all y'all stay safe out there. And have a nice day.